Hello world, Shotgun here, back with another video, Now in this video we're not doing anything security related, at least not something that I can think of. As you've already seen in the video title, in this video we're looking into NeoFetch. Now what's a NeoFetch? It's this utility. It's a tiny little nifty utility for terminal. Um, it's on Windows, it's on Mac, um, it's on Linux, whatever operating system that you're using you can use it, but in our case we're just looking into Mac OS. Now it does have a bit of a love and hate relationship in the industry because um, some people manually type to do your name minus a to look into all the details or you know I have config to look into IP address but the only reason that I like them is because it's handy now every time I launch a terminal up it's there I don't have to manually do any of these things if someone asks me hey dude what are your specs and I go oh hold on let me put in like 15 different commands to find out um, so it sort of gives you everything in one place um, right right when I start the terminal sorry I keep restarting the terminal but yeah um, now I like the fact there's heaps of things that you can include here um, I've removed some of them I've added some of them um, it tells you about operating system uh, what kernel you're running packages shell um, battery um, IP address that's the most important one for me because I've got a memory of a goldfish now, I can't really remember. Now when I'm doing a capture the flag and I go, huh, hold on, what was my IP address again? Uh, in order to ping it or ping it back to the machine. But yeah, it sort of helps. Now in this video, we are going to install NeoFetch in our Mac computer. Uh, just before I do that, just a bit of a self promo. So I'm selling a sticker and t-shirts on Redbubble. Um, it's all security related, you know, funny thing, like a humorous network and security related sticker. Now if you go to um, redbubble.com um, I'll put a link down there in a W do but yeah so if you go to Redbubble and just go to network and security I've got um, a couple of stickers in case of emergency now one of my favorites is one of this one that says in case of emergency drill here um, now I have it on my laptop right on top of my hard drive and it sort of you know it's it's a funny haha -ha sort of joke but yeah um, there here's some stickers if you want to give it a go it's not that expensive um, it's pretty cheap. Um, it's like it starts from three dollars. Um, but yeah, so if you if you're keen, um, you can uh, support me out. Right now that's sorted out of the way. Let's get started. Uh, now in order to install the Neo Fetch, all you have to do is brew install Neo Fetch. Now if you get error on this one, that means you don't have a homebrew installed on your computer. If you don't have a homebrew installed on your computer, mate, what are you doing? You have to have a homebrew. Um, there's another video that I've done that teaches you how to install homebrew on your Mac. Um, please do follow that one and then it's just a couple of steps. It's not that, you know, hectic. So um, just do install homebrew and then when you're done, just come back to this video and you can continue watching. And that's, it's easy as that. Now if I exit it, um, it's already installed. I don't even need to exit it. Um, if, I go, if I do Neo Fetch, uh, there you go, it's already there. Now there's heaps of things that I don't really need, but yeah, um, I'll teach you how to get rid of some of these things, how to add something, how to get rid of it, and all the all the basic stuff. Now in order to customize all these settings, all you have to do is find a new fetch file and just edit it. Um, so all the configuration that these things are coming from is located under config file. So it's gonna be, so what you have to do is just do sudo, nano or vim whatever you like um, so we go to .config folder and we go to neofetch and we do .c hit the tab button and there you go config.conf um, your credential and there it is so you've got all these things now if you see a pound sign um, or a hash sign in front of the keyword that means it won't be shown in a terminal uh, sorry now if I do um, let me show you what I mean so let's go to new window just do neo fetch uh, not neo fetch neo fetch there you go um, so as you can see um, so these are all the things that are um, that are just by themselves not with their sign now if you have this sign it won't show up here there's no D um, there's no VM theme, there's no themes. Now if I wanna make sure something comes in here, I'll just have to go here. Uh, don't wanna do 
don't want to do XP. So if I remove the font, let's say font, and I'll just write it out by doing Control O, Enter, Control X, and if I do new fetch again, oh, I gotta start the new, gotta start the new window. Sorry, my bad. And I'll do new fetch, and you can see the font should be somewhere down here. Wait, did I do the font? Okay, never mind. Um, I don't know what I did, but yeah, let's just let's just get rid of the uh, the pound sign in front of the, the GPU driver. Write it out. Enter. Get out of there. Um, start a new new fetch, new window, and we'll do new fetch and see if there's a GPU driver. There you go. There's a GPU driver. Now, if I have to, if I have to hide it, all I have to do is just add a hash sign. Um, where do you go? Now, by the way, it's it's commenting. That's what you call it. But yeah, uh, where do you go? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Nigel? Yeah, there you go. So that's a GPU driver. It's commented now. Enter Control X to get out of there. Now, if I start it again, do the same routine. If I do near fetch, you can see it is gone. That's it now. Every time I have to go in there, I have to type NeoFetch. What if I want to open it up when I open the terminal up? Now, in order to do that, you have to edit your the shell files uh, or profile. Right, it all depends on what terminal you have. Um, now, if you have a bash shell, then, then you are going to have to change that bash RC file. Now, if you are on G cell like me, um, and if you have a ZSHRC, then you'll have to edit the ZSHRC file. Now, for me, it's going to be sudo nano dot .jshrc, but for you guys, it might be dot .bashrc. That's a bash rc file. Now, you can type in here, even if it's empty. If it's not empty, it doesn't matter. Just add a line at the end. Uh, for me, it's going to be dot .jshrc. So I'm going to just write it over here. I'll go all the way to the end, and I'll just do neo fetch, and that's it. Just type neo fetch. Write it out by doing Control O, Enter, Control X to get out of the system, clear, exit the terminal, start it again, and it didn't work. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, near fetch. There seemed to be a bit of a typo. Um, okay, let's just change this one to near fetch. Hopefully, that'll fix the thing. Write it out, clear. Exit, start it again, and bam, there you go. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now, what if you want to change this thing? Uh, what if you don't want Apple? What if you want something else? Instead of ASCII images that you can change it to. But yeah, um, I'll, I'll put a link in the description section below um, so you can go to GitHub page and then change it. Um, but I'm going to show you quickly how I can change this one to, I don't know, maybe Windows or Linux. So all you have to do is Neo Fetch. You do colon colon, you do ASCII on the score, and you do distro because there's a distribution, and you just type the name of the distro, Windows, and bam, there you go. We've got a nice looking Windows over there. What if I want something else? What if I want my favorite Linux distro, Elementary? There you go, it's in there. Maybe I want a Fedora. Fedora. That's a Fedora. Or maybe I want, I don't know, Ubuntu. There you go. Can I do just Linux? Probably. Oh, there, you, there it is. You get the idea, right? Yeah. So that's what you can do with this one. Now, if you want this to change all the time, now instead of um, just writing NeoFetch, you can just copy this, uh, the ASCII distro, whatever. And then just change the file that you edited before. So sudo nano, for me, it's a gssrc. It could be bash rc, bash profile, I don't know. Uh, now instead of new fetch, I'll just do this one, a new fetch, ASCII distro, and the name of the distro. Uh, maybe I want Windows. How about that? Okay, enter, control X. Exit. Then when I start it, it's going to change the Windows all the time. Happy days, um, but yeah, don't want to change it, so I'm just going to leave it to what I have. So that's going to be Mac. Enter Control X. 
um, exit, start it again, and it's the same thing. Now, um, one last thing, if you want to get rid of it, you feel like, huh, this is just bloating my space, I don't want it. Um, if you ever feel like removing it, all you have to do is brew an install near fetch and it'll take care of it. It'll just uninstall it out of your system. Now that's how you install and use NeoFetch on your computer. Uh, people often use it to send a screenshot when they have to share the you know specs of the computer. But I just like it um, in there. Every time I start a terminal, it looks good. If you guys like it, you can install it as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I usually do Mac and security related videos. And I'll see you guys in another video. Um, stay safe and happy pen testing.